Thank you very much. And now we move to our okay. second presentation. So from Diego, I will move to Novistar. Uh, and our speaker is Sara Bulatic, uh, who since 2019 uh, was uh, working for the Foundation of Novistar, the European Capital of Culture. Uh, first as a project manager and then as a curator and was later promoted to head of the program department, so she's really skilled in, in, this, in this topic. Um, he develops and manages the entire program of over 500 events and in this presentation she has to be an oversight. Thank you. Uh, sorry, I didn't... Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, it's uh, great to be here. First of all, thanks for uh, for inviting me to participate here. It was really uh, great to hear Irena's uh, uh, opinion and approach on digital technologies in relation to Rieka, and you spoke more complex. So. I really enjoyed your uh, your talk. Thank you. I mean, we have a lot to learn from from that experience as well. Um, I'm going to give you a little bit of a brief about Novi Sad in relation to being a European capital of culture and how it included new technologies, digital art, and also heritage together uh, in its program. Novi Sad was proclaimed European capital of culture in 2016. It was also Ordered to be a project of national importance, and since then we really worked hard on um, we really worked hard on developing the program, developing the legacies, uh, developing also uh, the new cultural spaces. Uh, for the reason of uh, having two legacy projects before the title year, Gladys for Culture Docek, and establishing the network of eight cultural stations. Even before the title year, we were awarded the best uh, European trend bread in culture in Dresden in 2021. So uh, our main slogan, uh, and I think it's important because it bridges a lot of differences, is for new bridges. Uh, we were inspired by our history, but we also uh, were inspired by the metaphorical uh, sense of connecting differences, history, present, future, tradition and modernity. Uh, heritage and technologies uh, east and west. So from that program uh, narrative, we developed uh, eight different program platforms that are spread out uh, chronologically throughout the year. Uh, and uh, they talk about uh, eight different themes, you can say it like that. Uh, I'm just going to give you like a short brief on, on this because I think it's important to understand uh, our concept. Uh, we had a Docek in um, a beginning, actually celebrating inter intercultural identity and duality uh, of calculation of time in Novi Sad. Uh, we have two new years that we celebrate during that time, 31st of December and 13th of January, which is very specific for, uh, for this part of Serbia. Uh, then uh, we have a program called uh, Migrations from uh, beginning of February till mid-March, and it talks about um, connecting diversity, bridging differences between us, perceiving migrations from a more positive perspective. Uh, then we have a program called Future of Europe, which is actually happening uh, from end of March till uh, mid of May, and it's actually focused on innovative ways of education, creativity of young people, and uh, introducing new uh, new approaches in education in both high schools and in primary schools. Heroines was happening from mid-May till mid-June, and it focuses on creativity of the um, more beautiful part of the population of women. And we were inspired by uh, our great heroines, our great um, ladies that uh, made an impact in, in our science, in our art, in our history. And uh, we merged them with more uh, popular and more current topics. Uh, then we have a program platform from mid-June till mid-July. Uh, which is called Fortress of Peace. Uh, in this particular platform, we're focused on, um, on peace and reconciliation in the region, on addressing this very sensitive topic on a more scholarly uh, way, 
and we also had uh, programs that tackle this theme in different ways. What is important to mention is that in all these platforms that I'm talking about now, to give you a brief, uh, we involve all different disciplines in art, from uh, visual arts, performing arts, even architecture, uh, and obviously um, philosophical debates uh, when uh, when when um, topics are are more uh, inclining towards that. Then uh, we had a program platform called Danube C, which is also very interesting from um, from from end of July till uh, end of August. Uh, it focuses on collaboration uh, between Danube countries uh, and uh, we were collecting different regional artists to create different programs. We had a lot of program exchanges. Uh, and in this platform, we're also focusing uh, on ecology and on the problem of Danube being second longest river in Europe, yet one of the most polluted ones. Uh, so we had a lot of in-situ projects and a lot of projects that uh, involve uh, recontextualizing the heritage of Danube. Uh, Kaleidoscope of Culture is our legacy program. Uh, it actually uh, talks about and celebrates the culture of togetherness, where in five different weeks we have uh, five different uh, disciplines in art happening in five different uh, places and locations in the city. Uh, and in this platform we actually developed uh, collaboration with Ars Electronica, with St. Polton, and uh, we are actually nurturing uh, the young artists and the students uh, to be more experimental in their approaches uh, in different arts, from performing arts again to visual arts. We like to, in our programs, and when you see our videos, you will see more about it, to actually uh, merge different art disciplines together, not to only focus on one. And uh, this uh, platform was interesting because um, it also encourages the student exchanges and artists and residency programs. So in this sense, uh, we actually um, we actually inspire people to uh, go beyond uh, their borders, I, which I think in, in this given time is very important. Uh, so these are like the uh, arts that we tackle uh, in like each week is a different discipline in art. And the other Europe is the program platform that uh, talks about uh, the creativity of minority groups or more marginalized, marginalized artists and art disciplines. It's happening right now. Uh, soon we'll have a program dedicated to Comic Book City where Creative District, which is actually a new hub for creative industries in Novi Sad, which was one of our big book projects, becomes a, a Comic Book City. And we're using a lot of new technologies and state-of-the-art uh, approaches uh, to create uh, the visualization of comic books uh, in this district. So uh, this is uh, just uh, one part of my presentation, which, which was focused uh, on presenting you uh, with the program that we have developed. Uh, we are hoping that we will continue uh, with our legacies, focusing on nurturing and continuing the most uh, significant projects. What is also important to mention uh, with regards to uh, this topic is that during the pandemic year, we didn't want to stop our programs. So uh, it was a little bit challenging, but we actually created uh, DOCEC, which is our um, which is our legacy platform and one of the most important uh, program events. It was online, so people were able to stream it. It was actually successful. People were very depressed, but we uh, managed to uh, stream it online. Uh, Stefan Milanko is, for example, one of our uh, best violinists uh, who actually just came back to, to live in Serbia. So he gave uh, audiences like a free online stream concert, which was very, very good. And also Kaleidoscope Culture was uh, done during the pandemic in a less uh, obviously complex way uh, but we managed to uh, we managed we managed to uh, create that program um, what is also interesting in relation to uh, Novi Sad is that uh, it's uh, it, it was uh, the hub of the avant-garde art in 70s and 80s and uh, it always had uh, the tendency to think beyond and even now we have a lot of uh, creative industries uh, that that are working uh, in this field uh, with uh, big uh, clients from all over the world. Uh, so it is an IT hub. So we really wanted to um, we really wanted to bridge 
our heritage uh, with the fact that we have a lot of uh, resources in IT technologies. And therefore, we created uh, programs uh, in that sense. So I'm just going to play you now a video which actually shows how we implement uh, how we implement new media arts with our heritage this was a tesla light gallery on 31st of um, of december it was like a pre-opening of our title year it was actually uh the first uh yes oh they cannot see i'm sorry 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 just, just yeah. stop sharing and uh you can do that again. better yeah Stop share and then share again. Okay. First time it's optimized. So we should work that. Can I play it now? Yes, you can try to play it. Maybe I can close this. Okay. This is going to happen also this year on 31st of December. Then we had a Zenitan was our grand opening ceremony. It was directed by Slovenian director uh, Dragan Živadinov. As main protagonists, we, we had Mileva, Mani Sajstein, and we looked at Milanko, uh, which were actually our inspiration for how to be beyond, uh, outside the box, how to be bigger than the reality. And in this uh, area, in this open uh, general, we also have concerts in all the city. And we are always choosing different venues for the concerts. And we share a performance in the cathedral, in the synagogue, and we can see the event. In that sense, uh, creating this balance between uh, visual arts, scenography, uh, and performing arts. Uh, and this is also one of our legacy programs that will continue to happen also, uh, also this year. And after this, I would like to pay a focus on this exhibition, which is So this was a very interesting approach in uh, new media arts and visual exhibitions in Serbia. Then we had an exhibition uh, in the program Plastic Migrations that uh, actually that was done in collaboration with the Technologies and also on the other hand, the museum of Portugal. and made a story around it, which was very interesting. You see a lot of uh, different approaches in our program. This also I highlighted, this was an interesting program, which was done in collaboration with City Lab Library of Nisad and Book Fair of Nisad. During the, our uh, Book Fair, we created the exhibition Nisad where we talked about the history and heritage of uh, the literature in Nisad by using contemporary technologies.
actually showcasing uh, their uh, their skills and this was interesting because it merged different uh, disciplines in art this is something which we really enjoy not only to focus as i mentioned before one type of art but in one uh, event to uh, with one concept to merge different uh, types of events now uh, kaleidoscope of culture is again like happened for the fourth time now in Novi Sad. this is the project and the program that actually encourages young artists uh, and uh, which encourages a lot of collaborations with different institutes uh, in Europe to uh, to come together and create uh, new media arts. It happens in Creative District. If you ever have a chance to visit Novi Sad, I strongly recommend that you go there. It's a place which was completely abandoned and uh, it was a ruined factory that was rotting for years and now we recreated it into a new creative uh, hub for arts and culture. And hopefully, I think next year, all 15 objects uh, will be completed uh, in this area. And all of that will be uh, in the service of arts, culture and creative, uh, creative industries. Uh, so, I mean, I tried to be uh, brief and concrete in, in my um, <laughs> talk about, uh, about uh, how digital arts uh, communicate with, uh, with heritage. Um, and um, I would just like to highlight that um, that, that Novi Sad keeps uh, exceeding uh, expectations and in Serbia is definitely the most uh, forward-thinking city in, in this approach and uh, we are very much focused on, uh, on, on uh, actually uh, thinking very thoroughly on what kind of subjects we want to integrate uh, with the, with digital art. For example, we had an open ex exhibition, Time in Universe, which you saw in this video that focused on the calculation of time, the focus on Milutin Milanković, and we are having a closing ceremony and the new opening uh, in the City Museum of Novi Sad, which is actually going to be augmented virtual reality projection mapped exhibition about Mileva Maric Einstein, where we collaborate uh, with the City Museum of uh, Institute for Preservation of Monuments, and again, award-winning artists and writers that uh, uh, that explore the, her life. And uh, this will be um, something which is also done in collaboration with IPA Fund and, uh, and other <laughs> European partners. And I'm actually very excited and looking forward to uh, to this exhibition and time and universe exhibition we are also planning to uh kind of immortalize it we are preparing now a 360 video and a website for this exhibition because probably it will be taken down because this uh, uh this space has to be uh, readapted into a new museum uh but uh, in a di digital platform digital uh, way it will remain immortal uh, and all our programs, obviously, to our digital platforms, as Irena was also saying, are actually, it, it's a nice, it's a nice way of uh, not forgetting what you have created, I think. So, uh, yeah, we'll just keep moving forward. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, we have a third speaker which has a pre-recorded uh, presentation. Uh, she's Marianne. Uh